So if you are, you know, watching YouTube videos and you've got it on your lap, boom, shaka laka laka, boom, boom, boom. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be testing out the RF levels of these new MacBook Pros. I've got the i9 model and the M1 Max model here. And did you know? They actually switched up the modems inside the latest one. They've actually reduced the number of antennas on there. We've gone from three to two. Let's find out how it affects our Wi-Fi speeds and let's find out how it affects the amount of RF levels coming out of these laptops. And in case you don't know, RF is radio frequency. What happens is to communicate over Wi-Fi, these radio pulses are being beamed to your Wi-Fi router. Now they are declared safe by the world governments and health authorities. However, there's been some studies Studies all over the world, including this one. This is from RACGP, the official Australian Australian and general practice people. And they have found studies that it affects male fertility. In fact, if you go into a fertility clinic, one of the things they ask you is, do you put your laptop on your lap? And they suggest not doing that and keeping your phone away outside of your pockets. You know, that's uh, when they want to get fixing your serious situation downstairs. And there's also providers, I've done a review of them. They actually make underwear to protect you, to shield you from uh, this RF refrigeration. Anyway, I'll link a, a link a description in the description of this study that they did in Hong Kong. They tested it out with a, a mobile phone, a mobile phone with a, a protector and a mobile phone without a protector. And they found that after like an hour's usage, you can uh, affect your fertility, crazy. And uh, they, they're concerned about long-term effects. Anyway, the point is we're gonna find out the Wi-Fi speeds and the RF levels, have they improved? So first up, I'm gonna go into the Wi-Fi speeds because you guys wanna know, is it faster or slower? In the news, they said it's actually slower. You won't notice that it's slower, but is it slower? Now we're gonna actually find out, is it actually slower by actually testing the device and not BSing it. So I'm gonna go into the speed test over here. I'm gonna do it in a couple of ways. First, I'll turn off Wi-Fi on each of the computers to make it a fair test. I'll be testing it over the network directly, over VLAN and over the internet. So first up, let's go on the internet and we're getting boom, about 500, 550 down and 17, 18 up. Now my upload speed is a bit poor because I upload a lot and my download speed should be double that, but you know, you get what you pay for. I'm actually paying a lot, I pay a lot of money for this Wi-Fi. Now I'm gonna go into my i9. So this is the, the benchmark, the M1 Max is getting 516 down. Will we get any faster or slower in the older system? So we're actually getting a slow speed, look at that. 395 down, 400 down, and it's actually looking that it's slower going up. So we're getting slightly faster speeds when we connect to the internet on the new M1 Max. So now that test is done, we know that it's slightly faster on the up and down on the internet. In this test, we'll have to test it loads of more times, but again, slightly faster. Now we're gonna test the VLAN speeds. So I have a NAS on my network over Wi-Fi. We're gonna connect to it and see how fast of a transfer speed we'll get on both. This time round, I'm gonna go first on the i9 and we're getting speeds of around 29 megabytes a second writing and reading we're getting slightly faster. That's 49.5, 49.5 on the read and 30 on the write. Let's switch it over to our M1 Max. Has it improved or is it gone slower like everyone's saying, slightly slower? Well, we're getting 40 for 42 megabytes a second writing. So it's faster to write and reading. We're over the 50 megabytes mark. We're hitting 55 megabytes a second. So we have it right there. We are faster on the M1 Max. This is the same connection on both and it's slightly faster. So I don't know what the people saying, it's actually slower, are saying. You let me know, test it before you write articles. Fake news, man, what is this? Point is now, we've tested the speed, now let's test out the RF levels. So I've got my Bluetooth turned off because I'm doing Wi-Fi first and now I'll have them both and give you recommendations, all that kind of stuff. But this is um, a monster unit it detects up to eight gigahertz. So we're completely covering the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi spectrum over here. And what we wanna look at is milliwatts and microwatts. Microwatts are very, very low levels. Milliwatts are, that's when you start getting into the levels where it could affect you according to all the reports. Of course, some people also complain about microwatts. There is something called Wi-Fi sensitivity. Some people are sensitive to it. According to reports, some people aren't sensitive to it. Some people actually get the laptops and they, they just get headaches from using laptops. I've had people leave comments on my video saying, I'm getting a headache, I can't use this, what is this? Some people get affected by actually the, the display. I don't get affected by the display, but um, RF levels, let's see if they've changed. So just on the basis here, there's nothing being transferred. It's just on an idle connection. 
we're getting microwatts. It's, it's got a, a zero and then it jumps to around 40 milliwatts. And then it's zero, zero-ish microwatts, so zero, it hits zero right there. And this is just on the keyboard level. So if this is on your lap, every couple of seconds on this idle connection, I don't know what Apple's doing, pinging their servers maybe every, every three seconds, every couple of seconds it jumps. And on the old one on idle, we're again microwatts most of the time, but it does ping up to milliwatts. So it is pinging. This one is slightly higher on this test. It goes to 40, this one goes to 30. However, let's get it bombing on the Wi-Fi on both. So let's go a bit closer here. So when it is writing and reading connected to the network, we are shooting all the way up to 100 milliwatts per meter squared. That's 100 right there. So if you are, you know, watching YouTube videos and you've got it on your lap, boom, shaka laka laka, boom, boom, boom. <sighs> Whatever you want to do, I'm giving you the information. Now we're on the older one and boom, shaka laka rain. It is uh, not going as high. So I'm gonna let it go on the right. So it's uploading data, not downloading data. It's 50, 50, 58. So we've gone from 58 all the way up to 80 to 124, 130 right now, 120 right now. And this one is 60. So it looks to me that they have played with the number of antennas there are on this laptop. So there's one less antenna according to the NSS number over there. However, they've given it more power because we're getting 130 milliwatts per meter squared on this one up to, and we're getting a lower reading on this one. And that's Wi-Fi. Let's see how Bluetooth levels are affected. So I'm gonna turn Bluetooth on, on now. Now, no, I don't have uh, Find My on yet. If I turn that guy on. It's probably going to be pinging nonstop. Uh, maybe you need to get yourself like a, an RF lap mat, <laughs> put that on top of it. I don't know what the situation is. You know, I'm not even going to test Bluetooth. Actually, I'll test Bluetooth. Why not? Come on, let's, let's be real. So it is in the microwatts level. We're getting zero to 78 microwatts. So Bluetooth is very healthy when nothing is connected. That's on the new one and on the older one. It is the same situation. Now this of course will change if you have Find My enabled. With Find My, it's always gonna be pulsing the Bluetooth radio, looking for iOS devices around it so you can share its location and get its location with other people. I don't have Find My enabled for that reason. I don't wanna be giving away my bandwidth to randos. It's useful if you need it and if you are using it, maybe consider some RF protection. You can get some cheap fabric on eBay. I'll leave a link in the comment section below Just EMF protection fabric. I got mine for a fiver. You get a big, big sheet and you can put it on anything or you can get specific underwear and all that kind of stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below. Check that out if you're interested. But what have we learned today? We've learned that yes, there are less channels on the new M1 Max MacBook Pros, but it gives it more energy, what it must do because it's pumping out a higher RF than it used to and the connection speed is actually faster, contrary to the reports. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. So if you are, you know, watching YouTube videos and you've got it on your lap, boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom, boom, boom.